Nation, the entertainment feed community. We're going with the upon the Tuesday of vibes. Tuesday, a Tuesday when we know most sound is supposed to dine for run off. Over and done with, as today is one of those no movement days. Tomorrow, I go free of some no more sound. I look forward to the Wednesday. I'll do more than likely a few days from that. The place will go lock back. The starting of the no movement days again. Cha cha. But Nation, I make that two get to the head. For now, go and relax. Go and enjoy the tracks. Who no know the pre? We we'll soon return. Money up and love is your fuck. What the f? Then your stuff get the fuck up. Bunny money, Jenny, and a dress. Watch it up in a cafe, dear. You have the other you know. thing in her. When you make me get up in your gun. You know me the wrong thing. Switch up me style, me bad, me bad, me blood, up while me girl them love just like me, call me Jane, them pop me neck a smile Them know the badness of the god, this half the land, this fat load of gun just move it So, where we are start off today's report with Update on the ongoing drama between the dancehall artist Spice and Chug It so, the most recent happenings before this, we see that Chuggit demands full refund and a public apology from dance and artist Spice. Along with that, according to Zip FM, the legal team of Andrew French Wright, brand owner of the Caribbean Music Festival Chuggit, has issued a letter of demand to Grace Hamilton, otherwise known as Spice, regarding what they deemed as a no-show at the September 5th staging of the event in Miami, Florida. Now nation, we are get this from the Jamaica Star. No refund, no apology, Spice lawyers tell Chuggit. No refund, no apology. That, in a nutshell, is the response from the legal team representing Dancehall Queen Spice in the ongoing drama surrounding the controversial Chuggit State Show, at which she did not perform as contracted on September the 5th in Miami, Florida. Although you know the little last detail there. So yeah, you're walk one destination. Spice a session I give out nobody no money. The 37,000 something, I don't remember the exact figures, but something over 37,000 USD. Spice has said she na refund nothing. Not only that, she na go issue an apology. But Nation, we just have to sit and see how this go play out. We're moving on. Samantha J attacked by her own dog. Recording artist Samantha J was rushed to the Los Angeles hospital by her boyfriend on Sunday after she was mauled by her own pet dog. The bad like Yasing J says the experience was a traumatic one. I've been raised the animal since he was two months old. The dog, named Hulk, is a Japanese Akita. According to Samantha J, she knows he's of an aggressive breed, trained to fight bears or hunt animals, but she was still surprised. The Asian here will go on the song. Speed recovery for Samantha J. Who can hear will feel entertainer not sorry for a sister who died from COVID after refusing to take the vaccine. Controversial entertainer Milton Ray, who lost his elder sister to COVID-19, said that he is not sorry for anybody who dies from COVID after refusing to take the vaccine. Ray's sister, Luna Ray, 65, died in August. He said that he begged her to take the vaccine and she refused. Ray, a recording artist who goes by the moniker Wan Kian, spoke about his sister's death in a post on social media. I am not sorry for anybody who dies from COVID after refusing the vaccine, including my own sister who is now dead from COVID after I begged her to take the vaccine and she refused. Fused, he posted on Facebook. He subsequently told the Jamaica Star that Jamaicans will pay dearly if they continue to shun the vaccines. My sister and I grew up together with the same parents and one of the principles they instilled in us is who can hear will feel. So that is a logical principle. There is no emotion involved there. It's just as simple as 1 plus 1 equal 2. So if you can hear, you will feel, stated the singer. I know a lot of you might not know who is one can and might have said to yourself, this is a publicity stunt from the entertainer. Maybe, maybe not. At the same time, a lot of people have mixed feelings about this. Some are stating that it is wicked and no matter why he can't breathe away there, whilst some are stating that he has a strong point. Nation, what more want to do for me? I want to know the thoughts. Tell me what I think about that in the comment section. My thoughts on it, donation. I'm not going to say one can have a fucked up mind, but at the same time, I don't agree with his way of thinking. Yes, it is true. Who can hear will feel. At the same time, if you talk to somebody and them still go ahead and do something we you don't recommend them for do or you suggest them not to do, and at the end of the day, them still end up and get hurt from it, you're going to feel a way about it or you feel sorry for that person. But what makes it worse? We are talking about death. Your sister died. And you're going to go ahead and say you don't even feel sorry for your own sister because you talked to her after the vaccine and she did not take it. And you feel no sympathy at all for your dead sister. Spawned a song. Tens of thousands are talking about in social media. And the performer, in my view, is not even an artist. <laughs> he is journalist and author Milton Ray. I would add to that social commentator on Facebook. Yeah. 
Boy, I don't understand you, Winford. How you feel say me is not an artist, man? Well, tell me. Yeah. Yeah. When were you an I am, artist? I am first and foremost. I don't know you to be I one. am first and foremost an artist, sir. <laughs> yes. You go and ask the people of Portland. Anybody of Portland can tell us. I appear dance, my mashup and thing. Oh, the boy, so I, I know you. I'm, I'm an artist turned journalist turned artist. Lisa Hanna just the other day did I get quite a backlash for suggesting that people should go and take the vaccine. Now Miss Hanna, I get some big up from the people them. Some even suggest that Miss Lisa Hanna for the next Prime Minister. Why is that? It's because of this post that Lisa Hanna made on social media and it's pertaining to the cruise ship that docked in Jamaica. The cruise ship which consists of 700 passengers who got to go ahead to roam in certain parts of Jamaica while uh, the locals were on lockdown, no movements. Lisa Hanna took to Instagram where she shared this many jamaicans already live in fear of violence sustained hunger and the threats to their livelihood repressing them further without movement but giving foreigners the rights will breed dangerous resentment within a population already pushed to the limits we've got to strike a balance Nation, I want to tell me what I think about that. What I want to say, I don't agree with the people, eh? Miss Lisa Hanna for the next Prime Minister. Dream, 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 dream. Ha! Got it! Just before we move on from the vaccine talk, check out this. The Montego Bay based medical cannabis dispensary outlier has joined the efforts to offer incentives for Jamaicans to get vaccinated against the deadly coronavirus. The company has launched a novel weed for vaccine campaign, which it hopes will push smokers to line up for the so called jab. <laughs> Nation, the other day I must share this video before I share the update on that. Check out the video for those who haven't seen it. Now nation we see this, principal scold for sex talk. A Jamaican high school principal has been reprimanded by the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information for the language he used while seeking to dissuade his students from having sex. The Education Ministry described the school leader as one of the nation's most eminent principals but his language was inappropriate. While the gist of the message is understood, we cannot condone the general insulting manner in which this was conveyed. The Ministry stated, there are many messages to be conveyed and the leader should bear in mind the tone and likely impact of what is said which may undermine the desired effect, the Ministry stated. Intellectual murder people edition, kakam fire pull a gun like Remington. Big up to Skeng the Entertainer, but at the same time, to them Jamaican police there, sad, 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 and very disappointing. Intellectual murder people edition, kakam fire pull a gun like Remington. We wanna look at is one of the most recent performances from the entertainer Skeng. Last thing we are gonna look at, Ayak Tien has speak to the people them. No bashing. Zing fence, back of you. Meditation corner, watch your style now. Take out the glass. Yeah. Alright. Somebody up on the back of field. I work for you people. Eh? Work for you. Bonifier. But it come to my realization, sir. If I continue this way, the work I'm going to be in vain. Not in terms of the Almighty appointment for the certain things, but the work I'm going to be in vain. Because, watch ya, the reason why I can see things from a different perspective and change the narrative is because I enhance my brain power. 
So, if the people them we may have fight for, and the youths them we may have fight for, if them not up to the same level mentally, me fighting a losing battle. Because once them, the Almighty, not me, me tell you, don't give me no praise. The Almighty triumphant them from the, tri the tribulation and the trials them. If them, meant, if them not strong mentally, and them depend on a different horizon in terms of educational wise, them all go back and do the same thing. And me have a vision where, like just say, yo, more you do something for me. And at this, when I wake up and I analyze the dream, and this me get where a youth just get up every day and really just let him get up. Him not have no money, but him find something in the garrison. If he start smoking in the morning and even buy a one Guinness or a one Jagan or one. And that continue through generation upon generation. Through every girl, a man wake up and say, I smoke a bun off. Baby mother wake up with baby pan them side, them out pan the lane, them chat people, one bag or something. If I can change that perspective where you get up every day and learn a new word, every day and learn a new word, the more word you learn and the more word you understand, you comprehend when you use it in a sentence. A lot of youths out there can read, but them not comprehend where them read. So if you learn a new word and know how to put it in context, trust me, the more you learn, the more you learn knowledge-wise, and the harder the system, you take, take the system, the system cannot break you. You start to see things different now. Certain things where it's the anger, you can, anything with anger you can show you. You start to see it different. And I would like, through the grace of the Almighty, I would like to start a program where I give inner city student free online classes. Not you to go like current regular, you know, regular schools now. I thought you them a drop out of school and some youth can't go to school and the less group, some people in the can't go to school and some people cannot read. I said to myself, I but I will if I youth read, can read better than me when I grow up. But they end up in a crime and violence and become a product of them environment. And just say, yeah, they can pronounce word, but they're not comprehend where they read. And I say, yo, I chew, you know. I chew. So you see you them out there, where they no have it. And if you're a big man, I just want you can read and comprehend. I start from the basic. Listen on, unemployed teachers, teachers who have the qualification, unemployed teachers, and I link them. I want to start with like about four or five teachers. But I want to do a trailer where we start something and put it together as a package and I'm going to send it out so we get sponsored so that unemployed teachers then can be employed. I don't want to not do it free, I want to make sure I get paid to it. So it's a priority. I don't want to not do it by the, by the way, I want to put it on a priority list. Zane and every, every garrison, we'll find a way how to do it. Every garrison, Zane, link up. DM me, the youth them who want to learn free, the youth them who want, want a better life. Well, if you are a gangster, if you want to learn, the more you learn, the greatest thing is to know is the less you do with them, set your fiddle. You understand? So, link me up. I'm going to link me up, people. The youth them out there, more and more, more, more. Because it do not make no sense. You fight and you're dead on the back of the field and you alone equipped mentally. The youth them will go back and do the same thing. Just like how you them get up every day and just know so religiously become a part of them DNA instead of you take up a book. Them take up a ganja and them smoke right through. So here yeah, me, you don't know. And the new high priest, you don't know. Jati Benji. You don't know Mikey Bennett's son that. We are start. Them youth they're very vast in terms of reading. So we have a start it. You to the link with. You would link me up. You can't read all these things on a link me up. DM me, send me your number, I could, I could start it. We have started where every youth in the drum maker, every youth in the garrison, majority of the youth them learn to read. Learn to read. And the professional teachers them. Because we don't just want English language alone. We want them to have the basic necessities in terms of maths, English, geography, all of these things them that you that you go to college for and, you, and them not employ of it. We are employ of it. So just link me up. See? And the youths them out there, here, this is just a start. The people them where 
we reach age, my age, and who the system break already. We are trying to fix the rule. The youth, them out there on the link. See? You can life greater than where them paint in front of you. Just believe me. Bless you. Pull it charge up, he got to kill a man, rap the gang, for me gang, pussy run up with your boy. Crypto night coming, I do the most to fight.